Hi everyone, it's Mallory with BASE. Are you ready to transform the way that you save and access information? Today, we are gonna talk about BASE Dossier. Dossier allows you to save all critical information tied to the executive that you support in one central location. Access preferences, travel information, software, key contacts, and more in seconds. Do you support more than one executive? No problem. Each dossier is specific to the individual workspace. Support three executives? No problem. You'll have three unique dossiers that you can manage separately and securely. You can even invite multiple EAs to share and collaborate on each workspace, making the handoff during times that you're out of the office as seamless as possible. Assistants are often on call, even when they're on vacation, but wouldn't it be great if you didn't have to be? If you share the workspace with a coworker who's covering for you, they'll have instant access to preferences as well as digest and decision stream history. Dossier is incredibly helpful in a transition as well. Workspaces are portable. If you're training a replacement, just share the workspace with them so that they can get up to speed quickly. Dossier is also really helpful in new EA and executive pairings. It's a great way to run through preferences. You can use Dossier almost as an agenda of sorts. Let's start to dig in and really look at Dossier in work. So here on the screen, we are looking at the executive's executive profile. So here you're, you're going to see contact information, um, biographical information, you can include websites as well as images. Um, for attachments, you might include things like your executive's bio or other information that you want to reference frequently. Under notif notification hierarchy, you can define how your executive likes to be contacted, and you can also define what types of digests your executive receives on a regular basis when they're received and the type of information in that particular digest. Under the scheduling tab, we're going to have the ability to define our executive's um, general office availability. You can track out of office dates. You can include information on their meeting preferences. So how long do they like to have meetings? Do they require any sort of break between meetings? What ratio of internal and external meetings does your executive like to have? We also include a custom, customizable text box so that you can include any notes that aren't in these scheduling preferences above. We also give you the ability to define specific naming conventions that your executive likes to see on the calendar, as well as what the particular color coding on your executive's calendar means. Under our travel section, we can define, again, some just kind of biographical information about your executive. So their passport number, when that passport's going to expire, um, various secu or security identification information, like a TSA pre-check, a global entry, redress number. You'll also notice that many of these fields have this little quick copy button. So if for whatever reason you need to quick copy the passport number and paste it elsewhere, you can do that quickly here. We have a section for air travel and it's going to allow you to define your executive's preferences as well as what is the most important preference. Again, we give you a text box to include additional details that aren't covered in the details above. You have a section for airports, including their preferred airports and airports they do not like to use. And then we have sections for airlines, hotels, and car rentals. You'll notice that each of these um, items acts as a link. And again, we have either a frequent flyer number or a rewards number with that quick copy button. So I could launch the Delta website right here from within base dossier, go ahead and quick copy that frequent flyer number and book that flight for my executive. Under the contacts section, these are gonna be key contacts in your executive's life, whether that's spouse, children, if you're doing personal travel for them, uh, colleagues that um, are maybe important to your executive, as well as internal colleagues, if you do any kind of secondary support for um, other people within the company. Again, you can include biographical information, contact information, but we also give you a notes section as well as images and attachments. The notes section is a great place to store contextual information that you can later serve up proactively for your executive. 
For instance, maybe I know that Colleen's birthday is coming up in June, and I proactively suggest to my executive that we get her a gift certificate to the obstinate daughter so that she and her husband, Josh, can enjoy a nice dinner out. We have a software section, um, and this is going to be where you can detail what software items your executive likes to use. So Zoom for video calls, Trello for project management, LastPass for project password management. This is where you can define all of that type of information. And lastly, we have a custom section, and this is where you can store anything that you might reference more than a couple times a month. This might, again, include your executive's bio, headshots, directions to the office, parking instructions, coffee order. I also suggest keeping a entry for each city your executive uh, travels to so that you know, you know what airline do they like to use when they fly into Chicago? What are the hotels that they like to stay at? What are the restaurants they frequent based on the type of dining they'll be doing? Additionally, how do they like to get around when they're in that city and particular contacts that they like to spend time with when they are in that city. That is base dossier in a nutshell. So again, you have those customizable dossiers for each executive that you support. And it's a great, play, way, great way to keep all of the information related to the executive in one secure location.